Hello again, YouTube. Shout out to Reality Pill. This is the Reality Pill. Uh, YouTube be shadow banning them, but if you can find this channel, very interesting comments in the comment section all the time. I know its content is good, but you know how YouTube is. Y'all, when you ain't one of the good old boys making pyramids with your hands and stuff, you know. But content by request, the reality pill wanted me to talk about how these women actually brag and think it's funny and enjoy some of their promiscuity, some of their waywardness, some of their cheating on their husbands, cheating on their boyfriends. Listen, man, what I'm about to say, you probably don't hear preachers say this too often. But it's time. It's time that preachers start telling people the truth, man. And it's time that preachers start living the truth. Man, that little marriage stuff, man, they got to earn that. They got to earn that, man. You, Well, you want to be righteous before God? No, 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 no. The Bible says that the son of the Most High said that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So that must mean what 2 Samuel 12, other parts of the Bible? How are you some concubines instead of going out and marrying these women, man? Before you marry these women, make sure that that's the right decision, man. You know, and yes, you can try it before you buy it. You just got to do it the, the biblical way. You got you to gotta commit that relationship as her, make her your concubine. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a sin. It's not going to put you in hell. The most I know you want to smash. He know you want to get some. Look how he crafted some of these women. He know you want some. So stop listening to the... And, and, I'm, and I say this to every preacher on YouTube too. All of y'all, the harsh ones, Gino, Jenga, it don't matter who you is. I'm getting mine. I'm getting it. Now, you can say, you're going to hell a million times, but you can't put me there even once. You can say, you're going to hell, you're going to hell, you're going to hell. You can't put me in hell. Could you put Samson in hell when he was buying prostitutes? Did you put King David in hell when King David basically set that man up because he wanted his wife? Did you put Solomon in hell when Solomon was doing witchcraft with those women because they were sexy to him? Neither can you put me there. I'm not going without sex unless I choose to. And I'm not going to marry these women to have sex. And guess what? I'm married right now. Not for long, but I am. Nothing against her. It, it, that's just what happens nowadays, man. You know, women get curious. Women get tired. Women to treat you like a pair of shoes that they don't want no more. Don't get mad, get glad. You know, I done been some places by myself now. I'm by myself right now. And it's wonderful. You know what I mean? And guess what? Guess what? I've been trying to be polite limiting my shot. Now, I know you YouTubers with, you know, you got all the money. Oh, wait till you get money. Man, get out of here, man. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, man. Well, they don't want to hear that. Listen, the, the women always going to not want this, not want that. I still say that sometimes you got to go there. Hey, uh, is it all right if I call you later? Hey, what about me and you? What about me and you going out sometime? What about... Uh, what, What's the problem in that? She She's a goofball. If that upsets her, if that angers her, then just, this is what you do. Once she turns you down, you don't try to get with her no more. Now, all of this stuff about improving yourself, being the best version of yourself, all that, I'm all for that. But I'm what I'm not for is these dudes telling y'all that 
It's all about leverage and options. Leverage and options are part of the equation because a lot of these women are superficial and to be honest with you, the only thing some of them is worth is a couple humps. But while y'all trying to have leverage and options and impressing these women, they laughing at you with pookie and taking your money and splitting it with their pookies. So, you know, yeah, they get you through the door with some that you won't get through the door without it. But at the same time, you know, there's there's a whole bunch more that you can get through that door without leverage and options, man. I'm telling you, man. And and, and this won't always be that way. I remember back in the 90s, it's, it's different now. People more superficial now. But I remember in the 90s, man, these chicks, they'll pick you up and all this, all that. You say, well, they won't do that no more. Some of them still will. Come on, man, stop it. I told y'all about the dude I was working with, and his phone rung from the time we came in there to the time we left, and he didn't even have a car. All he had was cigarettes, and them chicks was calling him the, the whole time. And he's showing pictures of them. Oh, yeah, she look good. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and this was recent. This wasn't no long. Let's see how long ago was that. Kind of recent. It was, I was back in Milwaukee. I think it was my, probably 2017. So that's where I disagree. And I agree with, with some things. I do believe that social media has made a negative effect on dating. I do believe that uh, dating apps have had a negative effect on dating. But it's so many people in the world you can never speak for everybody. Now I tell you guys that I wouldn't spend all my time just hollering and hollering and hollering and hollering. Man, plan that stuff out, man. You know, every now and then you got time, just shoot that shot. Shoot that shot. Man, you better than them. And I don't mean that. I ain't trying to put these women down. But it's a reason why we men and they women. They was put here to help. You say, oh, that's chauvinist. Show me the word chauvinist in the Bible. Chauvinist is a secular word and it's a secular philosophy. But I ain't keeping score. That's just the way the world is. Full of philosophies so I came on here to tell y'all for the reality pill these chicks do be bragging oh yeah, yeah he was crying over me girl yeah and he man, he came over there to fight boo boo and mook mook Man, do not fight over these women, especially if they mash you, your girl. I ain't fighting no dude over no woman. Now, if he want to get personal, like if he want to be in my space and he want to play tough guy, then he can be a blood donor. But at the same time, I, I'm not going to sit there. Oh, you took her all over. You can have her, man. You can have her. See, and this is what women do. If they know they can't get under your skin by messing with somebody, they'll try to have them playing house with your kids. But eventually, that wouldn't bother me either. Especially if I knew that that's what she was up to. I'd just take her to court. Like, and demand a background check on anybody that she brings around my kids. I know the rules. I can demand that. You can't just bring people around. You know, that, that goes against the rules. That goes against some of the um, the orders. But me personally, I, this is this is how I think. The way I'm thinking is this. A woman will get as far with me as she deserves. That's just how it is. That's how it is. Now, that can change within seconds. That could change just by looking at your phone. 
I, if I if I look in the corner of my eyes, some do. I mean, that could change within seconds. And the reason why it should be able to change within seconds is because, like he wanted to talk about, these women be cheating, man. They be cheating and they be bragging about it. Listen, I don't care. Do not care anything she say. If she say, yeah, I cheated on him. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm, I got to say it. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it the way it's in my mind. If these women cheat on you and they say things like, well, he had a bigger dick. So? You, man, there's no way you can have 21 inches. Somebody else got 22. You see, why would you worry about that, man? You shouldn't worry about that. Somebody else got 22. Let me see where I'm at. Uh, let me see the street. Hold up. Got it. I'm getting close. You shouldn't worry about that. But that's what they do. They'll cheat on you and they'll laugh about it. Let it go, man. Whoever you are, let it go, man. They cheat. They, they 304. They hold. That's what they do. They don't want to say. They're not going to say, my name is... Lisa and I am a slut. They're not going to say that. What they're going to do is they're going to be a S-L-U-T and then they're going to blame you for it. Well, the reason why I was sucking them and I let them uh, blow my back out is because you wasn't showing me no affection. No, you did it because that's what you wanted to do. Oh, the reason why I had an emotional affair is because you wasn't showing me no attention. No, you did it because you wanted attention. And you didn't want my attention because if you wanted my attention, you would have only waited for my attention. I'm not trying to hear this stuff, man. You tripping, man. What's wrong with these women, man? No. Dude, that, that little lovey-dovey stuff, I found out that that is a myth and it's false. And no man should just give that to these women you got to make them earn that man you got to make them earn that let me pause this for a second. so let's get back to this i had to pause because i'm not done talking about this by a long shot i'm not gonna go too far but i still need to talk about this some more because see this is what i want y'all to do man i don't care if you are bad written, I don't care if you have a speech impediment. I don't care if you have missing teeth. I got missing teeth for temporarily. I don't care what your situation is. Here's how I want you to think. Don't elevate any of these YouTubers like they better than you. Now, I'm going to show you something. And this ain't no put down on any of them. Some of these dudes ain't never even had a father in their life, man. But y'all be acting like they just the apex of masculinity. You know, one thing that I had, I had many things. And one of them was a father. And I saw my father operate good and bad. He taught me many life lessons. I had male role models. I had males in my life. I had several uncles. My grandfathers, my father. I wasn't the dude that was around all women. I could tell that some of these guys have been around all women. I could tell by some of their talking points, the way they think, so on and so forth. They ain't been around no men like that. They just got the gift of God, man. Don't make me have to point nobody out. I won't do it. Because we all can, we all add to this space, man. It ain't even, I mean, you can add to this space even if you ain't had like a strong male uh, figure in your life. But some of these dudes, they try to act like they got all the answers. You don't, man, listen. There's no way you got all the answers and you ain't even been around men like that, man. There's no way. There's no way. You might have some of them. 
I got some of them. You ain't got all of them, especially if you ain't been around no men like that. Let's just let's just go there. Let's go there, man. Cause some of y'all y'all get real oily mouth, slicky the mouth when y'all get on y'all channels, man. You ain't got all the answers, man. I don't care if you get ninety thousand dollars in super chats in one night. You still ain't got all the answers. That just means they like you. Or you got the right people following your channel. People that's going to spend money, you got them following your channel. That don't mean that everything you say. And, and you can, and let me show y'all something. This is how you know some of these people are superficial. Why do I need a bunch of sound effects to get y'all attention? You got Tourette or something? Maybe you just not deep think. Why do I need, I mean, I like the sound effects too, but why would a person need sound effects to keep your attention? You got Tourette? Okay then. So, let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. I'm a, I wanna kinda read his content by request. Real brief. Let's go to it. Let's pull over so we can read this. Let's go to it. Shout out to Reality Pill. He's one of the guys that consistently uh, put my business app on pause. Never let these women make you feel guilty or sorry for thinking in these ways either. Here's what he said. It was, he said, just one more thing. I think you may like to do a video on how these women who do mess around are proud of it. Yep, that's what we talking about. That's what we talking about. They making songs about it. Promiscuous girl. No, sir. Keep her away from me Cause I hate itching And I like when I pee I like it to be a wonderful experience Doggone it I, Like some guys like I done said this before Some guys when they when they pee They be like oh man I gotta pee again ah! You know why? Because you scared to ask them girls Them tough questions because you scared to spend that money to make sure she don't give you nothing that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Take her to Quest. Be like, look, uh, you know, I ain't trying to give you nothing. I want you to see I'm clean. I, I want to see that you clean. Pay for it. 300. 300. They'll get all those graphs and, 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 and just tell them, give her mine and give me hers. Go on there, ah, oh, syphilis, ninety-two percent or how, whatever they said. No sir. I go right back to her, be like, nah, I'm good. Herpes, eighty-eight percent. Chlamydia. I remember I used to work with a guy. He said, oh, I've had chlamydia for a long time. It's been a symptomatic, but I know I had it, have it because I went to the doctor. Now, for all of you guys that think these white girls don't have disease, he's white and his girlfriend was white. That was my manager at a previous job. And she gave him chlamydia. <laughs> See? They got him too, man. They got him too. See, I don't know why y'all think and I done heard people bring up stats. Black women on it. Man, listen. Listen, watch this, watch this. I could debunk that right now. I had intercourse with mostly black women, right? Didn't always use protection either, man. Never had syphilis. Never had gonorrhea, never had anything but pubic lice. 
That's it. And just having that, I said, man, oh, that, this ain't where it's at, man. This ain't where it's at, man. And, oh, yeah, and I had a, uh, I had a genital wart. But the explanation on that was, was something else. You know, it went away. When they gave me some, I think a pill, and it just went away. Like, bye-bye. Listen. You guys. And then you got guys talking about acting like it's a problem playing video games. Man, dude, y'all gotta y'all gotta stop being so personality driven, man. Y'all gotta stop being superficial too. Don't listen to everything somebody say just because they got good numbers. That could be a, a brotherhood guy. We just say, we'll just call it that. Don't listen to them just because they got good numbers. Probably get shadow banned for saying that, but who we'll keeping score, man? I've been getting shadow banned because I'm a real leader. You got to shadow ban me. They know that. They got to shadow ban me because if if you let somebody like me gain influence, it's going to turn the whole world and the world is going to change for the better, positively. They don't want the word. They don't want positivity, man. If people listen to me, it's a wonderful thing. That ain't what they want, though. They don't want no more Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. They don't want nobody that charismatic. They want guys that they can control. Hand puppets. Controlled opposition. Say this, say that. Talk about conspiracies, but they really involved in it. That's what they want. So... And, and, and being that I said that, I'm going to say this next. They want the controlled opposition, right? So, people who get you to think for yourself are labeled things that they are not. What I say is harmless, man. Go to my videos. You tell me. You you tell me that I don't curve violence. I tell people like, hey, man, don't do nothing to these women, man. Don't do nothing to no innocent person, man. Don't do nothing to yourself, man. Enjoy life. These are the things I say. You would think they would be recommending my videos, the things that I say. I positively made videos to help people to deal with depression and all of those things. I don't deal with them at all, but I, I help people who do. But instead, they recommend you to fart videos, stuff like that. You know, it's all right, man. It's cool. Make sure if y'all like what I'm saying, man, don't just comment. If you got the means, share with your teacher. Cash App is in the description. You could do super thanks. You could just buy my merchandise. You could go turn your whole room into no matrix, green and black. You can get the blanket, so on and so forth. Um, there's many things you can do to show your support. You can hit the like button. You know, you can hit the like button. You can share this on your platforms. This is what makes me believe that I have a lot of agents on my page. Because when you look at the support, when you look at the likes, 
it's it's got to be one or two things or both. Either I got a lot of agents on my page, or I'm being shadow banned, or both. I even do content by request. It's only a few content creators that do that. And most of them just going to try to do it in the future. They just copying off of me. That's all it is. They'll, this is what, what some content creators do. They'll watch your videos in secret. And you know how I know who watching my videos? Because I start hearing my lingo. And I ain't mad at them, man. Just give me credit, man. That's all. Like, like I give y'all credit. Just give me credit. You know, it'll be okay. You'll still do fine on YouTube. You don't got to be insecure. I'm not going to take your spot. So, I start hearing my lingo. And this is how I know some of the biggest YouTubers be watching my videos. That's how I know. Because they be using catchphrases that I know that I started. Shout out to y'all, man. It's all right, man. I know you don't, you don't want people to know you watching my videos. But listen, my, hey, my subs is going up fast. So when I get up there where you at, man, don't acknowledge me then. Just keep not acknowledging me. How about that? If you're going to acknowledge me, you should be acknowledging me right now. It's only right. You can keep that stuff because if I if I was to take a guess, just looking at my subs, if YouTube slow up even a little bit with their shadow banning, uh, which they more and more each day they starting to ease off. I don't think everybody in YouTube hate me no more. I think it's a couple people that could care less. They just doing the job. Shout out to y'all, but. If I was to predict, I would say, what's this, December? I would say that probably by next year around this time, I'll probably be at 30,000 or more subs. Just looking at the growth. It wouldn't surprise me none. So, but people would do, they'll be like, I want to do a collab. Nope. Nope, you're too insecure for me. You you could do a collab with me right now. And then some of them black this, black that, man, I ain't trying to hear you, man. Because you ain't giving nobody else no shot. You only deal with your little chosen few with all of your subs, man. Stop talking about black this, black that until you're willing to give somebody that ain't there yet a shot. I'm not trying to hear you, man. I'm not. All some of these dudes got to do is mention you or play even a clip of yours. And it'll help you a lot. They ain't going to do it, though. They ain't going to do it. And I know I get some of the reasons why they ain't going to do it. But, you know, it's cool, man. It's cool. I'm going to get as far as I can with YouTube. But I ain't going to worry about it. You know, I just want... Y'all who really down for me. If you got the means, man, because people done came on here and told me, hey, I do this, I do that. I'm like, okay, you got the means, so why why you ain't super chat? Are you an agent? Or are you just not down with me like that? All right, if you ain't down with me like that, maybe you shouldn't watch my videos then. How about that? How about that? Now, I can see if you, okay, you down with me, but you ain't there. All right, we're we going to work with you, and we're going to pray for you. But somebody who got the means, you got the means, you just, you sharing it. And, and I, one thing, I can't stand these dudes. You see them in these women's lives, super chatting like crazy, but you don't never see them super chatting dudes. Y'all the reason, you, you, you messing up the game. It's stuff like that right there that's making it hard. You'll be amazed how many people you're making it hard for by doing that. You're messing up the game. So, yeah, man. 
they do be bragging about this stuff, man. And that's why we got to keep curbing their enthusiasm. So when I look at y'all, like it's some of them I'll be looking at like, man, you look like a tasty treat. And I ain't trying to be, you know, like some of these women be looking like tish tails. Come on, y'all already know. I done told y'all a couple times. Maya be on here, but Maya, I, I, would have, I would tell Maya, like, you know, just tone it down a little bit, you know. People like you. You got your fan base. You don't got to do that. It's, a, it's some of them, man, you know. Uh, Helena Pascal, come on, man. I done mentioned these before. I, I think Ebony K is attractive. The way she think, I tell her, hey, uh, if you ever gonna find somebody worthwhile, you can't go buy money. Cause where has that gotten you so far? I'm talking about how much he had to make. Okay, where are these guys you say that you a date? Because where they at? Where they at? You, you could get you a bus driver. You can get you an Uber, Uber driver. What difference do it make? You there to help him. So if you got it better than he got it, as long as he treating you like a queen, he giving you what, what a man is supposed to give a woman, why would you care how much he make? Make y'all money together. Like I was told that, oh, I'm gonna find me a rich man next time. That, that Listen, she hates when I tell y'all stuff that's been said. I'm a, you know, I ain't gonna deal with nobody broke, okay? Okay, so if I'm so broke, then, then that, when that court finally come, it'll be a, a pleasant experience for us both, right? You ain't gonna come after me for nothing, right? Because according to you, you see what I'm saying? I believe in marriage, but I don't think it's for everybody. I think the man and the woman have a job to do, and they have roles to consistently fulfill. You want to get piped down by multiple dudes, marriage is not for you. Why can't you realize that? Why can't you understand that? Are you that superficial? You can't understand that? But anyway, we got other we got one more video. We got to come back with Isaiah 4 and 1. So we're going to end this one right here. Thanks for watching.